Afternoon, friends. Drew here in beautiful New London, Pennsylvania. Working on reframing for the new bay window that's going in. You guys are getting that opening set for the correct. Uh, the customer wants some different, bigger windows. We went from casements to uh, double hung, so we're going to change the shape of the window a little bit in order to get that opening. So we're going to adjust the massage and reframe what needs to be done there for the supports. And that's going to hold the new window in the water tight. Siding off uh, front of the house here. Last side, we need to get some house wrap put on. We got a little bit of uh, damage going on. So you can see right here on the J channel, when the water came down this edge, we just had a way to get right behind there. There's no metal flashing underneath this. Um, and the house wrap obviously wasn't sufficiently behind what was going on here. We just allowed it to really kind of get into that and then down here at the towards the bottom. You know, plywood should not part this easily, so we're gonna have to get in there and replace some of this. That piece behind there might be alright. We'll have to uh, see how far this damage goes and get this picked apart. Do stuff put in. Water's gotten in there and it's had a field to it. So, both sides of this window, a little bit over here, not really a severe. And, uh, so, we've got to work that out for ourselves. Uh, we've got the siding ripped down, we'll get that loaded here in the equipped buggy and get that thrown away. Two windows now of the uh, front end of the room here and our new ones in. And you'll notice that the guys have left this. We don't have the bottom of this tape peeled yet, and the reason for that is we want to get metal up behind this drip edge, or behind this nailing flange, to bring that water, and anything that comes down this edge, it's going to come down onto our siding and out. And the other piece that we're doing is the, the uh, drip edge here is covering, the, the tape is covering over the seam and the nailing flange where it connects to the window. So again, we're preventing air entry, we're preventing water entry on three sides, and then we're leaving the bottom where it's loose and water can get out down there if need be for any water that gets into that drain cavity that we're creating around the outside. So, making some good progress there. We will be adding stone later on. And so we have a uh, AZAC block that we've put together for our hose bib that's gonna live right there. And we'll get that mounted after we get the ice and water shield. We have to put ice and water shield across the bottom of this first. I'll show you what that looks like over here on the other side. So you can see that black tar paper looking stuff, ice and water shield hanging out the bottom of the house wrap there. That's for to make sure that we have a continuous water barrier down when we go and put stone in the front of this. We don't want water to be able to back up and get to the um, framing of the house. So we, so we stopped here. We got to finish bringing that around. And then our stone is going to be on the same height as the top of this landing here. So that way our siding is a continuous height all the way around. So we got the ice and water shield going on. It's already over here. We have to get that on the other side before I can put that mounting block in. We have a uh, mount block here on the power box, the power meter. We put a piece of Azax back there. That's going to give us, again, a good solid backing. So we bring our drip cap down and we can bring our J channel right to that. Um, that just gives us a good solid surface. Make sure this is mounted good and tight. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, moving at any point, and we have done an excellent job of, uh, you know, not making that secure, but also protecting the OSB back there from any water damage coming along. So, um, back of the house, not a whole lot has changed here yet. Uh, we're working on finish getting the rest of the windows in first, and then uh, show up with the siding crew and crank things out. So they got held up on. A job didn't quite get finished last week, so we got to get that done first, and then we'll get them out here making stuff happen. Um, so again, not much change back here, but uh, working our way around the house. We've got uh, some of our siding out of the box, a preview of what that looks like. We've got a standard corner post here, and then we've got the uh, fancy corner post on the other side. I'll take you back over and show you those. But the guy's working on getting this reframed where it needs to be and ready to go for that. We got our window sills here. Let's take a walk around the other side of the house and I'll show you those pieces of corners that are gonna go in the front. So this is our cedar shake outside corner. 
designed to look just like the cedar shake shingle is going to look um, and that's going to make this beautiful so we have this in silver gray and i believe we've also got uh, at least an order of this in blue for on the center uh, where the center bump out in the front of the house is so this is going to tie together the front really pretty and then the back corners are just going to get the standard outside corners because at this point you know you want to see it's beautiful from the street but we don't need to uh, invest the expense for the back of the house where it's not going to be seen as much so that's uh set up ready to go so we got a little clean up here to do at the end of the day and keep stuff from blowing around and blowing in the neighbor's yard and whatnot we'll get all the trash and the garbage cleaned up call today come out hit it again tomorrow and finish getting uh, all the other pieces in and ready to rock and roll so we're going to get house wrap on this tonight now that uh, daylight savings time has changed, we have a few more hours in the day. The sun's still nice and high in the sky at 4 o'clock, so uh, we're going to keep working get a few more things cranked out here today. But that's what's going on in New London. If we can solve a problem for you, roofing, siding, windows, doors, decks, master bathrooms, finished basements, kitchen makeovers. Our team does it all. We'll build your custom dream house, put an addition on your home, build your garage that's what you're looking for. We have a dedicated office app available. Weekdays, 9.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at 484-748-0008. Choose option 2 for Cope Built, your full-service construction and renovation company, the extension 2 for new projects, and our team will be happy to assist you. You can message us 24-7 on our Facebook page. Click that Contact Us button right up there at the top next to our cover photo, the Message Us button there. If you're watching on YouTube, click that uh, Subscribe button, and make sure you click that Notifications bell so you get updated on all of our upcoming videos where we walk you through all the nuances that go into these projects help make sure that they're watertight, the flashing's done correct. Some tricks and tips that you can learn to either help you when you're working on your house or so that when you're interviewing and screening your contractor, you can ask them some intelligent questions and see if they know the right answers. And that'll help you know who uh, is just blowing smoke and who actually knows what they're talking about as you look to hire someone to work on your house. Remember, when we're finished with it. You're proud to say it's not just done. It's Coat Belt, Pennsylvania contractor number 88078. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.